And kicking things off today, there's an educational opportunity coming up that you won't want to miss. The Hearman Lecture Series focuses on providing sustenance for an ever-growing world population. Their latest installment will examine Nebraska's livestock environmental footprint. Mythbusting, Cattle and Climate, a discussion on Nebraska's livestock environmental footprint, will be open for the public to attend on Monday, October 25th at 2 p.m. This lecture will feature an in-depth presentation and panel discussion with some of the top minds in the cattle industry. This will feature keynote speaker Frank Mitliner. Uh, the, the lectureship this fall is going to be around sustainability of beef production. Uh, Dr. Mitliner is uh, an air quality specialist, so he has an extension and a research appointment at the University of California in Davis. And, and uh, Dr. Mitliner is world renowned, really, uh, of course, works for U.S. beef producers, but, but has a global stage when it comes to issues related to sustainability and especially air quality related to beef cattle production. With global temperatures rising, it's estimated that the United States accounts for around 12% of the total global emissions. This lecture will focus on how much agriculture, specifically beef production, actually contributes to the total national emissions. Yeah, so certainly uh, we all understand climate change and the fact that uh, the globe is warming up and a lot of different factors play into that and, and certainly agriculture plays a role in that. So in the United, the United States itself uh, of total global greenhouse gas production is about 12%. Of that 12%, the U.S. Uh, agriculture footprint is about 10%. So 10% so of U.S. global greenhouse production is related to agriculture and about 3% of that is beef cattle production. And, and the process of fermentation in the rumen, uh, one of the end products of fermentation of carbohydrates is, is methane. And so cows eructate or they belch methane, and of course that methane then goes into the atmosphere and does create a footprint uh, relative to greenhouse gas production. While it remains a fact that cattle production does have a measurable impact on our national emissions, Dr. Mitloner will present data that suggests cattle production could actually be turned into a carbon sink. So, so interestingly, uh, when, when you think about total uh, carbon footprint of agriculture and especially beef production, Dr. Mitloner will present some information that, that suggests that in all likelihood beef cattle probably has potential to be a carbon sink. In other words, to pull methane out of the atmosphere as part of the carbon cycle. Methane has always been around, greenhouse gas production has always been around, but in the last 100 years with the increased use of fossil fuels, where we've brought new carbon sources out of the earth and have generated methane that was not generated prior to that time, we basically overloaded all of our sinks, uh, those plants that can uh, take carbon through the carbon cycle and generate cellulose. Well, the beauty of the ruminant uh, is uh, they do indeed belch, belch methane, but, but methane uh, in about 12 year span is recycled. And so it's oxidized back into water and CO2 Plants fix that CO2, generate glucose, form cellulose that the ruminants can utilize and digest due to the fermentation of that in the rumen. Uh, and, and so they utilize a product that is in mass uh, in, in grasslands and in other crops. Uh, and they generate, a, again, a very highly uh, nu nutritious uh, product uh, that humans can't make, but certainly can utilize. And so I think, uh, I think uh, the whole discussion around the Herman Lecture will focus on that cycle and the opportunity that we have, not just in rangeland systems or in feedlot, but, but more uh, collectively looking at the entire system of beef cattle production uh, and how we can help, again, offset uh, this greenhouse gas and the climate impact that greenhouse gases uh, is having in the U.S. and worldwide. To recap, myth busting, cattle and climate will be held on October 25th in the Nebraska East Union in the Great Plains Room. That's located at 1705 Arbor Drive here in Lincoln. The event will kick off with a reception at 2 p.m. Central Standard Time, followed by a lecture at 2.30. The event is free to attend and will also be available online for those who wish to view from home. 
If you'd like more information on the event and the panelists that will be joining Dr. Mittliner during the lecture, you can visit hermanlectures.unl.edu.